Good morning. Today we're going to be doing some balance moves. And what I'd like you to focus on is if you have to have a chair, if you have to use something to help for stability, have a wall close by or something so that you don't fall or feel like you're going to. What I want you to do is open up your feet, take a nice big breath in, reach those arms up tall, and then gently sweep and reach. Inhale, sweep and reach. Two more times. Sweep and reach. One more. Now from here, reach all the way across to that right corner. Take both hands and reach all the way in front of you. Push to the back foot. And then take your hands and reach them behind you. As low as you can bring the chest without dipping below parallel, contract and squeeze the quadriceps. If you need to take your hands along your shins, you can. And then reach back up and then gently come to the other side. So try to create that space between your heel and your hip and then your hips and your fingertips. And then take those hands all the way behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Big inhale. And if it helps, you can always take your hands along those uh, shins. And then reach those arms back up nice and long. And then just settle down as low as you can. Take from here that left shoulder and drop it down to the right. Nice big breath here. And then gently switch to the other side. So we're sinking as low as we can but at the same time, pushing through the inner thigh. And then from here, pushing those knees all the way out. Big breath in. And a big breath out, you guys. Here, good. Lengthen your legs. From here, you could always reach to that center object and just push those hips all the way back. You can always use your chair if hinging down this far does not work for you. Give yourself a big stretch all along that posterior chain, starting at your heels and all the way through the hips. Nice deep breath in. Sorry, I'm working on your <laughs> Go ahead from here and walk all the way over. If you want to come in, cap here, you can. Go ahead from here and switch to the other side. Lengthen and push. Nice deep breath. And then come back to that middle and soften those knees and roll all the way back up. Very good, you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our center object first. We're gonna take that tap and then lift up the knee. So we're just gonna tap and lift. So find that center spot, one and two and three, four and five, six. Try to lift up your knees as high as your head, eight and nine, one more, and 10. Very good, you guys. We're just gonna switch to the other side. Shoulders back, belly button comes in. So we're gonna tap and lift. One, and two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven. Three more times, eight, and nine. One more time, you guys and 10. Very nice. Let's roll those hips out and exaggerate. Take a nice inhale, creating some space in those hips, and then gently rewind the other way. Very good, you guys. Now we're going to come to the center where we use our hands. So you can either take your right hand on your hip, or you can extend it out either way that feels best. So if I have my left hand, my left leg is going to come back. Take that big breath in, you're gonna tap the object and lift. Exhale, tap, and one. Exhale, tap, and two. Now engage your abdominal muscles, three. Exhale, tap, and four. And tap for five. Right around the back, happy a six. Exhale, tap, and seven, three more, tap. And eight, last two, tap. And nine, one more, tap. And 10. Very nice, you guys. We're gonna switch to the other side. So nice big breath in. So lengthen from here. Remember, same arm, same leg. Ready? Exhale, tap. And one. And tap. 
for two and tap for three. Exhale for four. Now pull that belly button nice and tight, you guys. Five. Exhale, six. And seven. Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more time. And ten. Great job, you guys. Open up those legs again. Reach for the sky. Spread the wings. And again, open. Two more times, sweep and reach. One more time, sweep and reach. We're gonna come down to the mat here, you guys, in a plank position. So if I have a hard time on my palms, I would drop down onto my forearm. So I can either start from here. Now, as I take my left arm, I would, if I'm in a low plank, I'll reach behind me. If I feel comfortable, I can reach in front of me. I'm gonna come up. All the way into the high plank. Nice deep breath in, hip square, front, swing back, front, swing back, front, and three, and front for four. Now stabilize the hips and rest that hand back down. Big breath in. We're going to switch to the other arm. Front and back. Try to keep your hips nice and square. Two. And front, swing three, and front, swing four. One more, front, swing five. Drop to your knees, push all the way back, and relax those hips, and gently rotate your hips side to side. If that feels good, create that nice space in your low back. Keep increasing by reaching those fingertips to the left. And then to the right. Nice inhale, just keep creating that space by relaxing the hips and reaching to the fingertips. So we're gonna come to that low plank, but we're gonna take our hands and line them up in front of each other like so. So I'm gonna come on down from here and I'm gonna rotate one side. The feet will just naturally rotate from one side to the other. If need be, you could drop from one knee to the other. So nice deep breath in, neck in neutral. Open and switch. Now line the elbows up right underneath your shoulders. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, four more now. Rotate four and switch and three and switch and two and switch one more time, you guys, both sides and relax it. Drop down to the knees, come to puppy pose so your hips will be high, your head will stay low. Give yourself a great big stretch here. Reach of those fingertips. Nice inhale. And a big exhale. Curl the toes under, have a seat from here. So just stretch out the feet for a moment, reach for the sky. Open up to cactus arms, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, draw those elbows in and just crunch down as far as you can. Big breath in. Inhale, open. If you can, keep sitting back on those toes. And then draw those elbows in. One more time, open the chest. And exhale. We're going to go ahead and come to that plank and push back to a downward facing dog. So big breath in. And exhale, open up those hamstrings. Nice deep breath in. Bicycle here, you guys, back and forth. Take some nice inhales and big exhales. We're gonna to come to the crouching tiger move. Now, I can just drop my knees from here. I can also drop down to those forearms and focus on holding here. So what we're gonna do is hold for three seconds, take a deep breath in, kick the back foot through if it's comfortable, or you could rest your knees back down to the floor. So take a nice inhale, either from your elbows or from your palms. Here we go, hover three, 
two, one. Now pivot. Back foot's going to come through and kick. Come back down and hover. Three, two. Now I want you to rotate the other way. Twist, kick, and hover. One, two, and three. Rotate, kick, and hover. Now keep your neck away from your shoulders. One, and two, and three. Pivot. Good. Two more times, you guys. Keep that core nice and tight. Three, and two, and one. Pivot, and kick. And hover one more time now. One and two. Belly button to the spine. Rotate and relax. And once again, push back child's pose. Very good, you guys. Now, if you feel like you want to take a moment for your wrist, bring your hands right to the ankles and gently roll the wrist. And then rewind it the other way. Wonderful job. I want you to go ahead and scoop all the way out here onto those forearms and gently lift from here the chin away from the mat and take a deep breath and roll the neck, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Squeeze the glutes one more time. And then to gently press if it is comfortable through the palms. As we come through, we're going to go ahead and peel ourselves off of the mat. If I need to stick to my forearms, I would peel myself up here, lift up one leg, drop back down to my knees and chest. Okay? So if I can, I'm going to come to the palms. Now I'm going to walk the palms in under the shoulders, keep the neck in neutral, squeeze the glutes, take a big inhale, peel yourself up, squeeze your glutes, you're in plank. Lift up your left leg, drop to the knees and then the chest. Inhale, exhale, up dog. And then plank and kick to that right. Knees and chest, inhale, exhale, plank, lift left. Knees and chest, inhale, exhale. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the glutes, you wanna keep your feet close together. Inhale. And exhale, lift left. Awesome job, you guys. Inhale, exhale, lift right. Now you can do the same thing from the elbows, just make it smaller. Inhale, exhale, left. Inhale, knees, chest. Chest, knees, lift right. One more time, both sides. Inhale, exhale, lift. Squeeze the glutes, inhale. Exhale, and right. Great work, come all the way down. Take a moment, relax your cheek, look down towards the left, and just take a nice big breath. One more big breath in. And gently look to the other side. Very good, you guys. We're going to come on to all fours. They're going to pop up like so. Now, if it is comfortable, what you're going to do is you're going to lift up and take your left heel to the ceiling. Your right hand will grab onto that left foot and pull back. Now, you could, from a standing, just take your foot and place it on the chair behind you. Nice deep breath in. And then gently switch. Draw from here, right heel. Reach back left, outer part of the foot. Keep that knee nice and high, deep breath in. Very nice, you guys. What we're gonna do is push back down our facing dog. And then gently walk those hands back in. And if it feels comfortable to keep that length in your spine on the ground, you can otherwise to your shins or to your quadriceps. So really focus on lengthening your posterior chain. So pushing out of your hamstrings. Nice deep breath in, hips up to the skin. Relaxing the head, neck, and the shoulders, but taking your fingers now and walking them as far away as you can, not in a down dog, but just reaching them away from you as you push your hips back. Walk it back in, hands along the shins. 
lengthen the spine, soften the knees, and roll the back. Very good, you guys. We're going to come back to our objects in front. So this time, what we're going to do, finding that center of balance, we're going to take that left foot, tap it, center, right, back up. So we're just going to swoop around and then pull everything back through in a small circle. So shoulders back, belly button in. Try to bring your knee as high as your hip. So tap, left, tap, Lift, pull it back in. Tap, lift, two, inhale, exhale. Tap, center, and three. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more time through you guys. Inhale, exhale, and relax it. Roll the hips, exaggerate that motion. Very good, you guys. Rewind it the other way. Always have one side that's a little bit better than the other. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Shoulders down, belly button in. Try to travel that knee up as high as the waist. And then go ahead and tap. Center and left. Tap and center for two. Tap and center. For three, tap and center. And four, one more time, you guys. Tap and center and five. Wonderful job. Open up those legs, reach for the sky, hinge forward, and then once again, push those hips all the way back. Take a deep breath in. Really lengthen and open. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, and then from here, push those knees open. Take a great big breath in. Pop up onto your tiptoes if you can. Nice inhale, and then release your heels down. Lengthen one more time, either in front of you or out to your sides. You can reach the arms all the way to the ceiling, and then sweep and lift all the way up. So we've got 50 jumping jacks. You can do a half jack, half tap, you decide. So big breath in, ready? One, two, three. Five, one, two, four, six, eight, 20, two, four, six, Eight, 30, two, and four, six, eight, that's 40, 10 more, two, four, six, eight, relax it, and reach for the sky. Spread your wings, let it go. Take another big breath in. Let it go. One more time. So we're going to do the, the lying down roll back here and come to that side. So as you come down to a seated position, now this movement is, if it doesn't work for me to push myself up easily, I would come gently back and rotate onto my forearm, rotate to the side, lift my leg, rotate back, and push myself up. So the movement is one, two, three, rotate to a side plank. Now try to keep your body elevated. The feet are not touching, the hands are not touching. You're gonna reach it back up, one, two, and three. And if I keep my feet up, I will. If it doesn't work, I drop down. So we're gonna go five times to the right. Big breath in, one, two, three. Side, open left. Nice deep breath in, inhale, exhale, up three, one, two, and one, two, two, three, lengthen and reach. If you need to use your hand to help you, go for it, one, two, inhale, up, two, and three, that's two, one, two, and three. Now open and lengthen, you guys, 
Pull that belly button and find the center of balance. Rotate back, up three, two, and one. That's three, we've got two more. One, two, and three. Reach it open, nice deep breath. And rotate back, one, two, and three. One more time, you guys. One, two, open, lengthen. Keep that neck in neutral. Rotate back and up three, two, one. Rest it, interlace and push the palms away from me. Wonderful job, you guys. We're gonna come to the other side. So same thing, if I need to, I'll drop down to my forearm. I can stay up like this, rotate to the side. I can step my foot back down and then reach back up. Okay, so whatever feels best. Inhale, exhale, back three, two, one, open, lengthen. Find the center of balance on the side. Inhale, exhale, rotate back up three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, two, two, three. Now right onto that side, pull the belly button in tight, rotate back up three, two, and one. That's two, one. Two, three, open, lengthen, you guys. Nice deep breath in. Inhale back. Exhale, three, two, and one. Two more. One, two, and three. Reach and lengthen. Nice deep breath in. Rotate back. One, two, and three. We've got one more time, you guys. One, two, and three. Reach nice and long. Nice deep breath in, rotate back in three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Push from here. So I have a slight scoliosis in my spine. When I do that, I notice as I'm coming up, my body wants to twist and turn. So you're gonna, body's gonna just automatically adjust. Take that deep breath in, but build the strength where there is none and then create balance in the body. So we're gonna flip back over here, you guys. And we're gonna push back down dog. If I need to, I come to a dolphin pose on the forearms, okay? So push all the way back. Take a nice deep breath in the arms. Now shoot arrows out of your hamstrings. Really create the space in your legs. We're gonna walk in and come all the way to that nice forward bend. So I'm gonna contract the quadriceps. Take a nice inhale. Now keeping the legs nice and long, reach the arms behind you. Squeeze through the shoulder blades. Squeeze from here and create that nice openness in the chest, scapula coming together. Sweep the arms and reach for the step. And then draw the arms out. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our rotation, but with our hand instead. So what's gonna happen is I take from here the left hand, my left foot is gonna to wanna to rotate to the right side so I can counterbalance that move. I could keep it here, and naturally you're gonna notice your foot wants to, to rotate. So give your body that chance and kind of counterbalance. So we're gonna go ahead and go left, center, right. Ready, we're gonna come back up though in between. So find the balance on the one leg. Inhale, exhale, pop it back up, center, Inhale, back up. And then now your leg wants to rotate all the way to the side and pop back up. Again, inhale, exhale. Find the center of balance. Inhale, exhale, and all the way over. Lengthen and open. Inhale, exhale, tap. And center, exhale, Inhale, exhale, side lengthen. One more time, you guys, here we go. Side and center, inhale and exhale and rest. Roll from here the ankle of the standing leg and then rewind it the other way. Take from here that knee, increase that range of motion in the hip. One more time, and then pull it in. One, and two, 
and three. Very good. Now we're going to switch to the other side. So what you'll notice, maybe one side is bad, or maybe one side is worse. So maybe they're really good, maybe they're not. It all depends. So many things can affect our balance. So big breath in. We're going to go ahead and tap here. Remember, counterbalance, center, exhale, inhale, all the way to the side, back to the middle, inhale, exhale, tap, center, find that center, you can always bend the knee here if it helps, for two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Two more times, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Find the center of balance. Keep your abdominal muscles pulled in. We've got one more time here, you guys. Tap it. Lift it. Lengthen. And rotate. Awesome work. Take from here that ankle. Roll it out. Very good, you guys. Rewind it. External rotation of the hip. Inhale and exhale. One more time and circle it in. Really try to increase that range of motion in the hip. Very nice, you guys. Open that up and keep your heart higher than your hips and just travel down the knees. Take a big inhale, reach your hands all the way behind you. Squeeze your scapula. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Soften those knees. Push out one more time. We're going to pop up into a plie. So what I want you to do is rotate the toes out as far as you can. You're going to reach your arms up and lift up on your tiptoes. Reach the arms to the sky. Open and then relax the heels down. Lift, reach, open, two, left, reach, and for three, and tiptoe, reach, try to keep your hips low, spine tall, inhale, exhale, reach, one more time, inhale, exhale, reach, and relax it. Go ahead and rotate here and take that right heel in with the instep of the left, Open all the way to the triangle. Feel your bottom hip collapse, rotate it in. You can also use one of your objects, if that is comfortable, and place it behind your foot. So to remind you to keep your hip rotating forward. Nice deep breath in, open it up. Now bend the knee, keep reaching, square your hips off, and open all the way to the side. So no tension or stress in the neck, Reaching up nice and tall. Push that bottom hip forward. Very good, push all the way up. And then just gently switch other side, heel, instep, lengthen, reach, and open, square up your hips. So no tension or stress in the neck. Rotate your bottom hip forward. Find that center of balance, take a nice deep breath in. Relax and open. Go ahead and bend that front knee, tuck the elbow in, and then open. So relax the shoulder. Naturally, it wants to lift. Take your bottom hip and push it through. Very good, you guys. So we're going to gently push back up. You're going to come hip distance apart. What I want you to do is take from here the left knee and lift it. Now what's going to happen is you're going to push that left leg behind you like you're going for a run. And then you're gonna pull and lift that knee back up. So I'll show you from the side what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead from here and lift up my knee. Now the arm is gonna come in front of me. So same arm, same leg. And then I'm gonna lengthen and reach, find that center of balance and pull it back up. Now what I want you to be mindful of is your standing leg, your standing knee. It wants to rotate and move, try to keep the pressure through the foot and relax that knee, don't let it waver. So big breath in, reach and lengthen, and pull back up once. Inhale, exhale, reach, and two. Inhale, 
exhale, reach, and three, two more, inhale, exhale, and four, one more time, lift up the knee, inhale, exhale, reach, and rest. Some days that goes well, some days not so well. Circle from here and exaggerate. And then rewind it. Now we're gonna switch feet, okay? So that right knee is gonna come up. Make sure that your hip distance as you travel that leg up, arm forward, reach and lengthen in behind you. Try to square up the hips and pull back in. Inhale, exhale, reach nice and long. Find that center of balance and pull that knee back up. Inhale, exhale, reach, and two. Inhale, exhale, reach, and three. Inhale, exhale, and four. One more time, you guys. Inhale and exhale, and relax it. Awesome work. Let's go ahead and lengthen the legs reach for the sky and spread the wings. You're gonna come back to the plie. So this time, I want you to try, try to stay up onto that right tiptoe. So you're gonna go ahead from here and push your palms together, sink and lift. One and two. Now really push the palms together. Four and five and six. Relax the shoulders away from the ears, but push through the arms. Eight. Nine, now you're gonna stay low, lift up, left and drop. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your upper body steady. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now keep your left up, drop your right. Pulse one and two and three for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now lift and lower right, one, two, three, four, push it, five, and six, seven, great job, you guys, eight, nine, one more, and 10, give it a rest, open it up, take your hands and reach all the way to that right corner, place the hands down, lengthen your spine, take a nice deep breath in, Inhale, exhale, reach back for the sky, other side. It helps to use that object to really lengthen the spine. Back to that center and reach everything back up. Very good, guys. We're gonna come back down to the ground. Now, as we've tried to build that strength and that balance, coordination with the core, now I have a few choices. I could always place a pillow, something behind my back to help me or take my hands right behind the knees and then travel my shins up. This is not work, I could lift one leg and then the other. So I'm gonna to try to hold, relax the shoulders, tabletop. Now you're gonna lengthen and lift those legs. You're gonna be set. So big breath in, shoulders back. Now all I want you to do is bend the knees, tabletop. Exhale, left, table. Exhale, lift. Now relax your shoulders. Table, lengthen. Table, lengthen. Table, and lengthen two more times. Table, and lengthen one more time. Table, now hold and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders back. 10, contract the quadriceps. Eight. If you want to do one leg, you can switch to the other leg now. Four and two. Drop down and we're going to roll it down for three. One, two, and three. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're going to lift halfway up here. So just halfway. Big breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Travel the legs out if you can. This is a half boat pose. Big breath in. You can take your hands right to the floor. Bend the knees back in. You're going to slowly come back down. One, two, and three. Settle. Reach nice and long. Nice deep breath in. 
Now, in order to come up, if I have to bend my knees and tabletop them first, I will. So I can pop up halfway, tabletop my shins, then lengthen them if I need to. So three and two, belly buttons in and soften. Reach nice and long. Inhale. Exhale, if you can come right up into that boat pose, lengthen and lift those so shoulders back, belly button in. Travel the hands to the floor if you need to. Find the balance. Three, two, open, lengthen, inhale, ready. Exhale, if you need to push yourself up with your hands, do it. Relax your shoulders. Now try to travel the arms up to the corner. Three, two, Relax and open. One more time, just like this, big breath. Exhale, if you need to tabletop, reach it open, engage that core, pull the belly button and reach to the corner of the ceiling. Nice deep breath for three and two and rest. Open and left. Bend your knees, take your hands directly behind your head. Take a nice deep breath in, imprint your spine. Pull the belly button in and as much as you can, press that low back to the floor. You're gonna take your hands and relax them behind the head, but support the neck. So all I want you to do is walk your knees together. You're gonna to lengthen and lift up your left leg. It's parallel with the right shin, so I'm not gonna go ahead and lift to the ceiling. I'm gonna to try to keep this engaged with that leg right to the corner. So nice deep breath in. Exhale, lift your shoulder blades off. Now, what I want you to do is take the other leg, lift it up, bring it back down, but don't let it touch. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Low back pressing, exhale, three. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. Support the head, relax the low back, eight. And nine. And 10. Relax those feet back down. Nice deep breath in, squeeze the knees. We're gonna lengthen and open the other leg. Travel from here, lift your shoulder blades off, support your head, ready, inhale, exhale, lift, one. Exhale, lift, two. Now use your breath, scoop from here the pelvis, pull the belly button in, four. Exhale, five. And for six. Exhale, seven, three more and eight, and nine, one more time. Relax both feet, inhale, squeeze the knees. Now as we exhale, you're gonna lengthen the left, both legs lift up the head, hover, inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Squeeze the knees, low back pressing. So keep that peach under the chin, exhale, lift. Low back, inhale, exhale. Try to fog up the glass with your exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Press and push. Three more. Now two more. One more time, you guys. And relax it. Go ahead and hug the knees in and gently circle them away. So increase that range of motion in the hip. And then gently rewind it the other way. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Now we're gonna to come to a side plank, you guys. So if need be, you can just gently roll right over to the side and then gently push yourself up. All right, so a few little tidbits here. So as I try to lift up into the side plank, it be a lot of pressure on the shoulder. Elbow and shoulder, everything's going to be lined up. I can use my top knee to help me lift and to build the strength. I could use my bottom knee to also hold. So if I can't do a plank, those are two things that can help. If all else fails and you can't, then I want you to focus on lifting up the top leg instead. So what we're going to do, if we can come into that side plank, is we're going to lift and hold from here. So we've got 10 seconds. Take a nice deep breath in. After 10 seconds, if you can hold, I want you to hold. 10 and nine, neck and neutral, eight, and seven, squeeze your glutes, pull the belly button tight, five, and four, three, and two. If you need to take a break, you'll drop your head. Take a nice deep breath in. If you can hold, travel the hand behind your head. 
Exhale, rotate for one and rotate for two and three. Exhale for four, bend the knee if you need to. Five, exhale for six and for seven and for eight, two more. For nine, you're gonna hold it once again. If you can, rest it if you need to. Big breath in. We're gonna take this top arm, sweep it under, reach for the sky. Two, exhale, three, exhale, four, and five. Lift it up now, you guys. Six, we're almost there. And seven, squeeze those thumbs. Eight, contract the quadriceps. Nine, one more. And fetal position, bend the knees in and open to your T. Great job, you guys. Take a nice inhale, really reach the fingers, lengthen the top leg all the way towards me. Roll from here, the ankle, exaggerate, rewind it. Prop right onto the back and then take that arm that you're leaning on and hug it in. So pull through, use the opposite arm to draw it in, open up through the shoulder. If you feel comfortable drawing the knees towards me, you can take that nice deep breath in, increase that space, and then gently come back. So we're going to try to roll up into the half boat pose and try to transfer. If you know that's not gonna work for you, then you'll go ahead and go to fetal position and gently push yourself up. So nice deep breath in, reach nice and long, lengthen the body. Inhale, exhale, half boat. So half boat here, left. Now reach all the way up and be set. Take that deep breath in, drop half, left. So two more times, half, this is hard, left and half and left, drop those feet. Very good, you guys, we're gonna come to the other side. All right, so elbow comes in underneath the shoulder, top foot can help me and prop myself up. I'm gonna notice if my neck bothers me that the elbow is just out a little too far. Bottom knee, if that helps, lift it. So we're gonna hold for 10 seconds, reach for the sky. Now open and lift. So use your obliques, the side here. You also have your assisting glute muscles to help hold you up. Thank goodness we've been working those. Hold it, eight and six and four and two. If you need a break, you'll take it now. Nice deep breath in. Travel the hand behind the head. Exhale, rotate, one. Exhale for two and three. Lift with that oblique, you guys, four. Rotate, five. Exhale for six and for seven and eight, two more. Nine, need a break, you're gonna take it. Lengthen and hold. Nice deep breath in. We're gonna travel that arm all the way under. Exhale, reach for it. And two, now three, reach for four. Exhale, five. Squeeze and six, almost there you guys, seven and for eight, two more and for nine, one more and 10. Drop down, pull those knees in and open up to your T. Just relax the shoulders, really reach here. If it feels comfortable to lengthen your top leg, open it up, roll the ankle. Rewind it the other way. Very good, you guys. On to your back. Take from here the arm that you're leaning on, travel it across and hug it in. Nice deep breath here. So we're gonna do a few mountain climbers, you guys. If you have a hard time with mountain climbers, you could always stand up and do knee pulls. You could also come into a forearm plank you could also use a chair to help lift you up a little bit higher to drive those knees in. We're going to stay into a plank while we do this. So take a moment, lengthen that body. So to come up, we're going to come back to that half boat pose. 
If I need to use my arms, I'm gonna pull them in close, peel my upper body up, and then I would lift from here. So deep breath in, inhale, exhale, halfway up. Reach for the sky. Hover, inhale. Exhale, reach. One more time, hover. Exhale, lift and relax. Great job, you guys, flip it over. Alrighty, so what we're gonna focus here, you guys, on is keeping that nice long spine. If I need to go slowly, I would slowly work on drawing that knee in towards the arms as far as I can. If you can jog it out, that is the goal. We're gonna go 10 mountain climbers and 10 jacks. Okay, so if you need to do this from standing, you can. If you want to do it from your forearms, just give yourself, instead of dropping, pulling the knees in, you could tap knees and then step tap. Okay, so you can still do the move, just modify. So big breath in, shoulders away from the ears, come into your plank, engage your abs. Nice deep breath in, travel left knee in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold your plank, rest if you need to, take a deep breath in, squeeze your glutes, jack it out, two, four, six, eight, hold the plank, we're going to go down, down, up, up with the left arm, so down, down, up, up, push back, down, down, nice deep breath in, if you need a break, drop to your knees at this point. We're coming back to the mountain for eight. So hover into your plank. Pull the belly button in. Right knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, full plank. Eight jacks. Six, four, Two, drop if you need to, push back down dog. Nice deep breath in, feel the strength in the shoulders. Keep those abdominal muscles pulled in tight. Ready, hover, back to the left knee mountain. Six, four, two, full plank, six jack, six, four, two, Need a break, take it, push back down dog. Nice deep breath in, a lot of the shoulders. Now hover back to that plank. We've got four mountains with the right. Four, three, two, full plank, jacket. Four, three, two, one more time. Drop your knees if you need to, push back down dog. We've got our last 10 here, you guys. Take a big breath in. Find that center. Ready? Left knee. One, two, three, four. Hold plank. Right knee. Five, four, three, two. Either drop down, push back if you can. Down dog. Hold that plank one more time, you guys. And let's jack it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. And relax it. Drop back, stay by the bell. Push all the way back, relax those hips side to side. Take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna thread the needle. So from here, prop up if you can. Lengthen your right leg if that works for you. Open up and travel that right arm up. So open up the chest, relax the shoulders. Now you're gonna take from here, that right hand all the way underneath that left and really rotate. Ear in the side of the head. Take from here, that left arm, really reach it forward. Take a nice deep breath. Really open. So the arm that's underneath that palm is up, the other arm, the palm is down. Nice breath in. Walk it back up. Now you're gonna go ahead and reach and take that 
left arm, and you're gonna reach it towards the toe that's extended out. So nice deep breath in. Once again, ear on the side of the head, reach as far as you can in both directions. Nice deep breath in. Increase that space there in the shoulder, in the hip. Walk it back in, release your seat. Lengthen and open and rotate to the side. So if I can keep here that left hip down, I'm gonna rotate the palm up and reach as far as I can to the right. If it doesn't work, I will lift right up to the ceiling. So nice inhale. Travel down all the way to that left. So if you can walk down to that form, you will. If not, reach the arm out, increase the space. Take a nice deep breath in. Wild thing, I'm gonna take that hand, pull it right in towards that hip and reach to the sky. Now reach behind you as far as you can, push your hip flexors, squeeze the glutes, open it up. Relax the shoulder and the neck. Look down and rotate that top hand all the way to the other hand. Just a gentle twist here. Awesome job. Release back to that center and then lengthen the other leg. So open up the chest all the way to the side. So relax the shoulders. Rotate all the way to that left. Open up the heart all the way to the side. Optional to keep your leg extended out, you can always bend your knees. You're gonna travel that arm underneath and thread the needle, relax to the ear, the side of that cheek. Lengthen and open. Feel free to modify it any way you need to. Take that deep breath in. You can always bend in front of a chair and relax from the top of that chair. See if it works. Go ahead and walk it up from here. And lengthen, now extend the right arm and reach it towards that left leg. So open and lift. Nice deep breath in. Relax into that shoulder and the side of the head. Hips nice and high. Very good, you guys. You're going to gently walk that back up. Release your seat. Tuck that in. Open up that foot to the corner. And then if you can keep that Right hip down, you're gonna open and then create that nice space, but relax the shoulder. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. You feel this is really just constricted, then just don't come down so far. Nice inhale. Exhale, gently rotate to the other side. Now the key is to try to keep that hip down if you can and reach for it. We're open up to that palm. Nice deep breath here, you guys. We're gonna pop that up and go ahead and come to wild thing if it works. Bring that hand in close, reach from here, separate the shoulder and the ear, squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward. Look to that corner if it works. Really squeeze the glutes, open up all the way down from the toe to the finger. Release from here and then push back into child's pose. Just relax, take a deep breath in. Pop, sorry, pop that back up one more time, reach it up, and we're just going to take that arm and bring it right to the other arm for a little gentle twist there at the spine. Nice deep breath in. And then push back here into child's pose once again. Reach your fingers all the way to the left corner. Relax your right hip. And then reach all the way to that right. Take a nice deep breath in. Very good, you guys. You're gonna push back here, downward facing dog, and then walk your hands into your feet. Now, this next move, we don't want to make it a complete cardio move. You can work on your balance instead. So you'll come from here, find your center of balance, and you're gonna drive from here that right knee up, and you'll lengthen and pull. Okay, so this is gonna be your move to kick and pull. You could also place it down and pull it up. We're gonna add a burpee to the front snap kick. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a leg lift to that burpee at the bottom. So what I want you to do first is find that balance. If I'm adding the full move, I'm gonna front snap kick with the right front snap kick. You're gonna jump back here. Now from here, that right leg's gonna lift. You're gonna place it back down, jump back up, 
and find that balance and lift it back up. So we're gonna go the same foot five times. So I'm gonna balance at the front here, front snap kick, jump back and try to jump on the one leg if you can and lengthen and lift if you can. Place the foot down, propel it back up, find the balance. Inhale, exhale, jump back if you can. On that one foot, only if it works. Drop the foot back down, pull it back in. Center of balance, left, kick. Try to jump back with that one leg. Nice deep breath in. Place the foot down, pop it back up. Find that balance, kick it. Jump back, lengthen left. Inhale, place the foot. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, jump back, lengthen. Nice deep breath in, place the foot, pop it back up, reach for the sky. Spread your wings. We're gonna practice your balance on the other side. If you're here, you've got your front snap kicks. You got your knee pulls. So nice deep breath in, front snap kick, and travel back, lengthen left. Tap that foot, back up. Find the center, pop it, and lengthen it. Nice deep breath in, place the foot, pop it back up, find the balance. Inhale, exhale, jump back, lengthen and left. Tap the foot, bring it back up, find the center, front snap kick, lengthen left, tap the foot, bring it back up. Again, center, lengthen, jump back, lengthen and hold. Nice deep breath, you guys. Ready, place it down. One more time now. Find the balance, kick it, lengthen, hold. Tap that foot, drop down to your knees. Sorry, and push all the way back, relax those hips side to side. Take your hands by your feet. You can come to a forward bend if you prefer, and you're standing, roll the wrist out. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Take from here the hands and rotate them forward towards me. So your palms are up. So you could flex your toes and sit back on your feet if you want to. We're gonna gently from here, draw the left fingertips back. You can, if you want to, take both of your hands on the floor and stretch this way. If it doesn't work, you do one at a time. Switch to the other side. If you can, you're gonna hold from here. Now try to curl those toes under, sit back onto the hips if you can. Nice deep breath in. Pop it back up. Now you're gonna switch. Now I'll take from here. Either this palm here, or I'm going to take both palms down, palms, sorry, up, and then sit back if I can. I'm trying to open up the wrist the other way. Nice deep breath in. If you want to, switch hands and draw that in close. Nice deep breath in. Now rotate your fingers out to the side. So even if you do this and pull back, nice inhale from here. Release your seat and open up to the sky. Interlace all the way up and drop your head back. Take a nice deep breath into the ceiling, open it up. Now spread your wings here, cactus arms, open up the chest. Nice deep breath in, really squeeze the scapula, draw the elbows in and exhale. Bring them down to the floor, nice deep breath in, tuck the chin in towards the chest. If it's comfortable, inhale, exhale, open. You can cactus, you can open up the chest. You can also look straight in front of you. Nice deep breath in, exhale, elbows in. Relax down for a moment, nice deep breath in. Exhale, open, lift and open the chest. Relax from here, the hands down to the knees and you're just gonna travel and take that right foot forward. Now you can push your hip and open up there through the hip flexor if you want. You can lengthen and open from here. If it is comfortable and you wanna reach for the back foot, you can open up and take both hands back, completely optional. 
If it's too much on the knee, we eliminate that. Nice deep breath in. Lengthen and open the back leg, but rotate the heel in so that I have the instep of the right with the left. Reach for the sky. Open and lengthen, other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and come all the way back down, drop down to the other knee. Nice deep breath in. I can tuck my pelvis in. I can reach and take from here the opposite hand if that works. Take both hands, find that center of balance. Nice deep breath in. Relax that from here. Lengthen that back leg. Rotate the back foot, heel in. Reach for the sky and rotate all the way forward. So hinge from the hip and reach all the way in front of you. Reach all the way behind you. If it's comfortable, hands along the quads or the shins. Place the hands to the floor, bend the, the hip. Start to walk the heels in. So heels and toes out and drop your hips as slow as you can, pushing through the palms. Nice deep breath in. Relax the hands, lengthen and open and roll up. Take your heels in, toes out. Give me a big breath in. Lengthen from your spine. Now find that center of balance and prop up if you can on your toes. And then if it works, draw the hands together. Optional, of course, deep breath in. You're gonna push up on your tiptoes, reach for the sky. Again, lengthen. Relax the knees open, heels in. Now reach your right arm up. Nice deep breath here. Reach your left arm up. Nice inhale. Find that center once again. Now really push your knees out. Elbows up and reach for the sky. And let's take three big breaths, you guys. Inhale, positive. Exhale, let go of anything negative. Reach for the sky again. Now pull down into that heart center. All the things you have to be thankful for. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Relax the hands on the heart. Gently bend your head. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.